Oh, oops, sorry, didn't mean to punch the camera there. That's what I say. I uh, have a, um, been trying to get set up for a little bit. This is harder to set up for than I was expecting, to be honest. Um, so, I've got my table all set up for boarding action style game of one page rules. Um, so I went ahead and I used all my Necromunda terrain to make kind of like, um, like a cramped sort of like ship interior, um, for my dudes to murder each other in. Um, I liked the idea of the like one page rules from GW, but, or not the one page rules, the, uh, the boarding actions from GW, but I'm really not a big fan of the GW systems anymore. Um, so I decided, you know what, I can... I can do that same kind of thing using one page rules, right? Like I can, I can take my one page rules dudes and throw them into a cramped interior and see what happens, right? So the only real um, caveat I need to make for this being one page rules is that um, opening and closing doors is just going to be a thing they can do when they uh, um, end a move near a door, right? Opening and closing doors. and. Um, yeah, besides that, I'm just going to use the standard one-page rules rules. Um, I am going to throw in extra actions from the expanded rules, but to be honest, I don't know if we'll use them today because my first time playing one-page rules in, in a while, even though I love the system, it's just been a little while. Um, and also, it's my first time playing a bigger squad-based game on the channel, right? In, like, a really long time. Um... And so it's going to take a little bit of like setup and a little bit of extra effort to get that working, right? Like usually I play um, uh, kind of smaller scale squad games, but literally just this little cramped room here filled with orcs is as many dudes as I usually use in one of my games. <laughs> and that's just one side. There's a side with more guys than that over there and it's Tyranids, right? Like there's Tyranids, right? Um, so it's going to take a little bit of like getting used to and butting with the camera and the train's a little cramped for how I usually film, right? Like I usually try to film a little more open so the camera can see things and stuff. So there's going to be a little bit more of that, um, just while I try to figure it out and play with it and stuff, right? Um, cause even when I played Necromunda, I would always set up like wall sections and never like actually like connect up everything right like everything's actually connected up here like it's on a grid um it might be a little crooked in some spots but it's all technically set up like it's on a grid like the gw stuff um uh but usually i don't do that usually i make like little novel sections right for the guys to interact and move around and stuff it's a little easier to film that um this grid is kind of a pain in the ass it seems to like set up the cameras and stuff for uh, especially this right side over here. Sorry, I realized I had my, my little thing off. There we go. Especially this side, the side you're seeing now. This side's kind of a pain to set up for. Because um, I built this big tower of power. Because I thought it was fun. There's the tower of power. There's my microphone. Let's zoom back in so you're not staring at my microphone. Um, I built a big tower of power right in the way of the camera like a doofus. But I thought it was such a fun setup that I would decide to leave it. Um, but I've got my Tyranid set up on this side and it works set up over there. So, with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the lists. So, One Page Rolls has an amazing list builder. Um, it is phenomenal. Whoever coded it did a wonderful job. The aesthetics of it are really good. The user experience is very good. Um, it generally is one of those uh, things that as a person that codes stuff like this all the time, I look at that and I'm like, yeah, that's like, that's like me grade work, right? <laughs> like, I'm like, that's, that's, yeah, like that's very impressive work. Um, so they have an awesome army builder. So I use that. Uh, this is the export you get from it. This is the, like, cards view. 
Um, and essentially it gives you all the roles you need to play your guys, which is really nice, right? I put this list together in like maybe like five minutes, and I now have all the roles for my dudes. Um, so I've got two orc mobs. Um, one of them has a heavy machine gun. Uh, one of them, oh, actually both of them are supposed to have heavy machine guns. One moment, I gotta grab another heavy machine gunner. <sighs> I put one in the uh, the uh, pistols group, but apparently I did. All right, so we will uh, swap in an extra heavy machine gunner. That's nice. All right, and we'll get rid of one of the pistol guys. Um, you can go hang out over here by the microphone. All right, so I've got two groups of orcs. One has carbines, which are like rifles, and one has uh, like a chopper and a shooter, um, which is the pistols and close combat weapons. Uh, there's also an orc leader. He has an attack beast, which is a squig. Um, he has a carbine with a rocket launcher on it. Um, he also has the the special rule gun master. So, um, just for the just for the fun of it, um, all of my orcs are Mad Max. Fury Road themed. Um, so this is my orc for the bullet farmer. He's got some bullet teeth. He has a little bullet hat. There's there's always more orcs. Um, but yeah, this is my this is my bullet farmer orc from Mad Max Fury Road. So he's my he's my boss my boss guy. All right, just wanted to show him off. Hmm? All right, back to the list. Okay, so that's my orc leader. Uh, he also has shooting frenzy and all the regular orc leader stuff. Um, and then we have two goblin walkers. Um, uh, one's got a machine gun and one's got a flamethrower. Now this is a 750 point list. Um, my experience is that one page rules tends to be a little more point heavy than like actual 40k um so i wanted something a, that would be about 500 points in gw's 40k so i just cranked the points up another a little extra bit and it wound up at about 750 points so the other side of this the proper enemy for the orcs is tyranids um so this list is basically a Snatcher Lord, which is like a gene stealer, um, a group of Soul Snatchers, which is just five guys, thankfully, um, so they're easier to move around, <laughs> um, a unit of Shooter Grunts, which are like Hermagons or Termagons, and then a unit of Assault Grunts, which are the other gods. They're the melee ones, right? The Shooter Grunts are the... Uh, um, they're the shooting ones, and the uh, assault grunts are the not shooting ones. Uh, then I have a unit of hive warriors. So these are tiered warriors. Um, one of them has a big heavy gun. The other two have just regular rifles. So that's my lists. Um, I'm going to be swapping back to check this out all the time, um, probably while I'm I'm filming, so we can have some fun with it um so it should be good should be good okay now boop. all right let me uh there we go let me get me off the camera so you can actually see the orcs okay so for my setup i've kind of just crammed them all into like in my brain what is like an airlock right like <laughs> Like, if the orcs are storming the ship, they all have to, like, have a point of egress. So in my brain, this is, like, the orc entrance airlock, right? So I just cramped everybody inside there. Both units of boys, the boss, and all the robots. And then over here, the Tyranids are starting off. Um, and they're a little more spread out, really, just because of how I had set the terrain up. So, um... Uh, what 
was I thinking? I don't remember now. What was I going to say? I don't know. This was harder to set up than I expected, so I'm a little like, wow, all over the place. All right. Usually I play skirmish games on the channel, and it's much easier. Um, but we are, we are figuring it out. So um, I needed a mission, right, besides just, just murder each other, right? Um, One Page Rules has a bunch of really nice uh, kind of missions uh, in the expanded rulebook. Uh, one of them is called King of the Hill. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick a point uh, for each army to be their, like, hill, right, that they need to, like, take from the other guys. Um, so in the case of the orcs, they're going to need to get on top of the Tower of Power, which should be a little bit of, like, climbing and wrapping around and stuff. It should be pretty fun. And the Tyranids are going to need to take the orc hangar, the orc, like, point of ingress. Um, conceptually, I think the orcs would think the Tower of Power is cool, and uh, the Tyranids would probably want to actually block off the orcs, so that in logic makes sense to me. So, but yeah, so that's uh, kind of my setup. Um, yeah, and I figured we would just uh, play a little bit and um, see how it goes, right? Like I like I said, I usually play either more thematic stuff. Started playing recently. Um, Ranger of the Shadow Deep, which has been phenomenal. Um, or, you know, like Grimdark Future Firefight or Stargrave or something like that on the channel. So we'll see how the bigger game goes. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, all right. Um, there we go. All right. So let me update this camera here to our orc friends and we will get rocking and a rolling. There we go. Okay, let's get me off the camera. There we go, so you can see him a little better. All right, so I got my unit of boys with the sh carbines, boys with the choppers and shooters, my boss, and two orc robots. All right, so for opening doors, uh, I figured that if you end a move by the door, you can probably hold it. That was my conceptual thought. Or you can probably open or shut it, right? That was my idea for it. So... Cool. Okay. So. Back we go. Okay. So, my boss, the orc boss, the bullet farmer, he's going to move up to the door. And he's just going to open that fucker. So, he can let his, his boys through so they can start their, their wa action. Then over here. Nope. Whoa, camera. Whoa. All right, we're back. Um, <laughs> over here, I figured I would start off with the assault grunts. Um, they're just going to move six, which is the standard OPR move. Um, and they're going to get a little bit closer. So my plan for them is to just basically run them in like a rocket into the orcs. Because that seems like proper Tyranetti to me. These guys literally just got painted like a couple of days ago. Like literally like two days ago. So they're probably gonna get obliterated instantly. Um You know, actually we can just have them rush. I mean there's no reason for them not to. So in uh, OPR basically you can choose to move double move, which is twelve move instead of six. And if you do that, um, you can't shoot, but these guys can't shoot anyway. And they're definitely not going to get a melee, so they can at least move up um, like that. Okay. Uh, back to my friends, the orcs. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, I want to leave one of the orc bots in the hangar. Um... I don't want everybody to cram out the middle because that's going to be a bad time, I think. So let's move one of the orc box, uh, bots up. And he's going to just move up 12. Right? So he's going to rush as well. 
He's going to get himself right there. Kind of a little bit out of line of sight, so he's got some cover. Just sort of going to hold that corner, right? Um, and then, first turn. It's always a lot of back and forth. So, I have a unit of shooter grunts. We're just right here off the camera. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move them up 12 so that they're actually on the camera. Ah, shooter grunt. Shooter grunt. This is just whatever kind of gaunt this is. I can never remember the difference between termagons and hormagons. To be honest. But I'm kind of trying to keep them in little, little like packets so they can fit through the doors. A little bit easier. <laughs> So, all right, we'll move them up, uh, and it's going to be a lot of back and forth. I apologize for that. For the first turn, everybody's just kind of jockeying into position. All right, we will uh, do ourselves another rush, and it's going to be these orcs up here, and they're just going to fling themselves right into the middle of shit in a nice, proper, orky way. Got to give them a heavy machine gunner. Behold my arm. Right. Yeah, it's kind of neat seeing all these dudes crammed into like a tiny little space, right? Because usually they'd be on this like big, much more open table. It's kind of cool to like have it be like, here's the orc bot and everybody's all crammed in. Uh, okay, and then... Back to our friend Saturnus. Um, the orcs need to take the Tower of Power, right? So I think we're going to do proper Gene Stealer here. And we're just going to wait. So up and over. And we're going to wait on the Tower of Power. Oh, actually, let's, let's not do him. Let's do the, uh, let's do the little guys. And then we'll just give them 12 so they can get like up here. So if anyone gets up on the Tower of Power, they can fuck them up. Right? They're good old lurky boys. The reason I don't want to do the Snatch Reward is he has a psychic power, and I don't remember how those work in OPR. To the rules! Because it contains all the rules you need, which is awesome! Because OPR is fucking great. Alright. Let's see. Uh, he can cast one psychic spell, apparently. Um, uh, oh, I apparently could have also basically deep struck him for free. Well, poopy. Oh, well. Um... That's fine. Okay. So, he has Psychic. Uh, he can cast a Psychic spell. Man, there's a bunch of them. Let's, let's look at those real quick as a, as a, as a team. Go team. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're all pretty much like 6 or 12, so you're not going to get to use any of them next turn. But... Um, it's pretty cool. He can blast people. He can make people fail their morale test. Um, he can make things fly. He can re have things regenerate wounds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff there. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Um, Alright, sweet. Alright, we're back then. Now we know how that works. And that's important. Okay. Alright, so our orc buddies. Um, let's go to our orc buddies. These guys here, I don't want to cram everybody into the same avenue. It's 
So these guys are going to move up to the door. I'm going to scooch up there. Little orc buddies. I'm going to pile in around the door. And they're going to open it up. They're going to open that door. Um, yeah, so that should be good. And then we're back to the back to these guys. It's natural lord. It's going to do the same thing that its other buddies did. It's going to come up here. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It's going to go all the way up top. <sighs> That's what it's going to do. All the way at the top. Snatch your lord for the win. Alright. Um, back to our orc friends. Uh, kind of want to leave one of the orc bots in the hangar. So... We're gonna have this one move up to the door here. That's what he's gonna do. He's just gonna stay in the door. Um, and we'll try to we'll try to close off and defend the hangar a little, right? Okay, and then our last unit of dudes is gonna be these Tyranid warriors here. They are going to rush up to the door. Eh. Eh. Mm. Yeah, why not? Well, I'm rushing to the door. And they're going to open it up. For their friends, the uh, gaunts, the stabby gaunts. And there we go. That's the uh, the unexciting turn one of uh, guys pretty much holding and moving forward. Right. <laughs> um, that's pretty much the uh, the entirety of turn one. So uh, we're going to go over into turn two. I'm going to shoot a roll off to see who gets to go first, because now it's actually going to matter. So let's do that. Uh, the orcs are going to be the green orc dice, and Tyranids are going to be the bone dice. Let's see. Orcs got a three, Tyranids got two, so orcs will go first. Um, I kind of want to make the Tyranids move first. So what we're going to do... We're going to adjust this camera here. Like that. That's not bad. And we're going to move these guys up. And they're just going to end by this door here. Because they fortunately got to go through double doors. I feel like I sent two choppy units against each other and two shooty units against each other. Right, we're gonna finally move it up, and then we're gonna open the door up. All right, now we got the tier in his turn. Um, there we go. Uh, let's move because they can't they can't charge, right? Yeah, they can't charge. So let's move the tier in warriors up, and then we'll finally get to do some shooting, probably. All right. There we go. All right. Tyranid warriors. So they can shoot. Um, Really, this guy probably shouldn't be here. This guy should probably be like back here in the door where it should be. We're going to say they can shoot with the heavy gunner, right? This is the guy in the front there. 
That's what I'm gonna say we can shoot with, so let's check his rules. Alright, he is a Hive Warrior. He has a Heavy Ravager God, which is 18, attacks 3, AP 2. Alright, so 3 attacks. Alright. Oh, wait. Sorry, I forgot to check what his quality was. Quality 4. Okay. He doesn't have, like, a good shooter rule or anything, right? Uh, nope, he's just, he's fearless and tough. Okay, cool. Alright. So he's gonna go ahead, he's gonna put those shots into this these orc boys here. It's pretty much a straight shot for him from where he's at, so... Uh, we got two sixes and a four, so all three shots hit. The orcs now get to roll their defense. Uh, it's going to be minus two. Uh, so they have a defense of five plus at minus two. They can still make it, they can still dodge shots on sixes. So let's try. Alright, so I got two fours and a one, so... That means three orc boys have bit the dust. Blech. There we go. All right. Um, first time shooting, we, we lost some orcs. Uh, they're still not under half strength, so we don't need to take a morale test. Um, but... Uh, now it is the orc turn, so we are going to move up with our friend, the orc bot, and put him right there. That might be better to see him, but it's actually worse. There we go. Oh, all these platforms get in the way. Uh, but here's our friendly orc bot. He's going to shoot into those Tyranid warriors that just tried to fuck him up. Or fuck his boys up. Uh, he's going to shoot with the flamethrower. That's what he's got. And he is quality five, so not terrible. Um, he is a good shot, which means he actually hits on a 4 plus. It's pretty good. Um, and the Tyranid Warriors are 4 plus defense. Okay, so let's look at the Flamethrower. Uh, holy shit. Flamethrower is 12 attacks. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know it did that many attacks. Okay. We can do that. We're going to have to roll this in two groups, though. <laughs> I don't think I didn't pull out 12 dice for the orc. All right. 12 attacks. Uh, quality 4 plus. So we've got three hits there. All right. And then we'll roll the other, uh, the other six. And we got three hits there. Okay. Six hits for the Tyranids to dodge. They are defense four. I guess it's just like. Let's see what we got. All right, defense four. They dodge three of them. And so one of the guys is going to take two points of toughness damage. So we're going to use these big chunky dice as his uh, remaining wounds. He's got one wound left. The guy in the back does. You know, let's keep let's keep that middle battle going. Let's keep that going. Let's try to update this camera a little. There we go. Let's see. Don't know if that helped. How about? Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. All right. So we're gonna charge with our gaunts, um, and we're just gonna charge into the guy into the, the dude in the front into that work bot all 
We're not going to be able to get everybody in, but we got to get a bunch of them in at least. The ones in the front have a little more leeway than the ones in the back. So it looks like we'll be able to get like six of them in. just too far away from the orc bot as it is literally just a like mound of flesh running <laughs> like it's very cramped in there <laughs> all right so we're gonna say six of them can hit um let's go ahead and let's look at the gaunt so these are the assault gaunts that each get two attacks all right, so we'll do this in two groups again. Um, this is going to be 12 dice. Uh, they are quality four. Oh, what is heavy bite? Hold on. Let me see. Oh, they actually get an extra one, an extra attack. Okay. So they're actually getting 18 attacks. So we'll roll this in sets of... So that's a six. Okay, so that's uh, four attacks go in, and then man, it's nice to get extra attacks on the charge. That's cool. Yeah, it's very claustrophobic, but it's kind of fun because of that. Okay, there's that many more attacks, and now we need another six. Okay, that's a lot of attacks. Um, <laughs> so they made 13 of the attacks. Okay, they made 13 attacks going into the Orc Walker. Um, so the Orc Walker has a defense of two, because it's a pretty tough little robot. So he's gonna have to roll 13 defenses. Um, let me make sure it's defensive too, because that seems really low. Oh, it is, it is two plus, okay. Interesting, okay. All right, so we lost one. Um, and then, this is the second batch here. All right, that one's cocked. All right, so he's gonna, after all of that, he's gonna lose two wounds. Youch, okay. That is not nearly as much as I was expecting. I expected him to like be completely torn apart. So he is down to four total wounds. Man, those orc walkers are pretty fucking badass. <laughs> All right. Um, now he gets to hit back, so he's gonna do that. Um, let me see what his claw is, because he's got some. I think his melee is kind of meh. Um, let's see. He has a mini claw, which is an attack one AP three, uh, quality five. So his, his melee sucks. So one attack, quality five. He misses it on a three. Okay. So he, he took some beating, um, and wasn't able to give it any of it back. Um, so he lost that melee, so he's going to get bounced back. Um, he does need to take a morale test um, because he, let me think, he lost the melee so he has to take a morale test. Uh, I don't super remember morale and OPR. Uh, crapper. One second. The power of looking things up. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, I was just reading this last night and totally blanking on it. When to test for morale. 
As armies take casualty, their psychological well-being deteriorates, and they will flee from the battlefield. Whenever an army is down to half or less of its starting units at the end of a round, or whenever a spell or special rule requires it, they must take a morale test. Right, you just take one quality test and see if it's passed. Okay, but there is something about you roll on melee at the end of melee. So give me one second. Um, returning strikes, fatigue, consolidation. Um, so my guys are now fatigued. Strike. I apologize, this is probably not very entertaining. But this is how we learn, right? We learn by playing things, seeing how it goes. Okay, so we're not down to half of our strength yet, so I don't think I have to take a morale test. Or there was something like if you lose the melee, you have to test. Oh, mm -mm. I apologize. I was in the wrong fucking rule book. This is why things are named Grimdark Future and Grimdark Future Firefight, and they're they're very yeah. That was the Grimdark Future Firefight role. So I was like, yeah, that makes sense, but I was like, I don't think I have to. All right. Um. <laughs> so the morale there is the same, but I swear there's morale at the end of melee. So let me figure that out. Um, okay. Once the defender has struck back, or if they chose not to, you may you need to determine who won the melee. In this case, it would be the gods. Uh, sum the total number of wounds each side has caused and compare the two. If one unit caused more wounds than the other, then it counts as the winner, and the opposing unit let's take a morale test okay I thought so all right um, note that in melee only the loser takes a morale test regardless of casualties okay cool all right so we can do that um, all right so we need to see if our guy is pinned so he has a really high quality so this is, being a melee is going to be actually super bad for this work, but <laughs> it's going to be a really bad time, and I didn't think about that. All right, so he is quality five plus, so I need to roll a five or a six, or he's going to be pinned. Um, and what that means is he's like disoriented, maybe they, they hit the, the can too much and shook up the little goblin inside, um, and he's like now confused, or maybe like, you know, they shoved it into the wall or something, right? Like... All right, so he got a two, so he is now pinned. All right, so he's basically going to miss his next turn. So at least he got one attack in and tried to light the dude on fire, so that's pretty good. Um, so he's now going to miss his his next turn. He can't fight back and stuff like that. So he's he's basically disabled. Um, nice. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So that was the gods going. Uh, I now get to go with the orcs. Um, what I'm going to do, turn my own camera so you can see this, I'm going to, so the other orc bot is right here. That's the one with the heavy machine gun right there so you can see him. He's going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. So he has line of sight at these gaunts. Because I want to pick some of them off. Yeah, he has a he has a slight headache. And he is disabled for a turn. <laughs> but he'll have to sit the next one out. But he'll be back after that. 
So I'm going to wiggle that orc bot over and I'm going to shoot that heavy machine gun into those gaunts. Um, I think that's probably the best idea for my dudes. Alright, so let's check the heavy machine gun on the orc walker. Um, let's see. Heavy machine gun on the orc walker. Attack 6. Wow, 30 inch range. God damn. An AP one. Okay. Alright. Six attacks. Going into those gaunts. That one's crooked. Alright, and they have the bat they have the good shot rolls, so they're hitting on fours. Okay? So that means two of those are gonna hit with AP one. And we'll pick those same dice up and see if my gaunts defend it. I believe the gaunts have a defense of four. Right. Yep, they have a defense of... Oh, they have a defense of five. Okay. So they need sixes, otherwise two of them are paced. Oh, wow. They saved one of them. Okay. So only one of them is paced. Blech. Well, you tried, Mr. Orkbot. <laughs> you killed one guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. He tried. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, update this camera a little. Uh, we're going to move these gaunts up to this door and then open this door up. Next time they can have a nice shooting mat match with their orc friends there. Or they can both choose to pile into the middle. There we go. Very, very cramped. Oh my god. So cramped. So many little models to move in such tight places. Usually when you play Necromunda and stuff, you're only moving like one or two dudes, not like a whole squad. Jesus. Alright. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So that's them done. Um, let's see. Who do the... The Tyranids have the Soul Snatcher Lord, and they have the Soul Snatcher class. The Orcs have the Orc Boss, and they have the, um, uh, they have the, these grunts, these grunts here. They haven't gone technically yet. Um, let's go ahead and let's move the Orc Boss up. Alright. I want to just have him shoot into those gaunts too. Hmm. Yeah, I want to just have him shoot into the gaunts. Why not? Alright, let me check his stats. Orc boss! Got a big machine gun! Um. Alright. So... He's got two shots with his carbine and one shot with his bazooka. Um, he is quality four. Oh, I forgot. He can actually give his buddies a, uh, a shooting frenzy. What does that do? Oh, it's actually, it's old school daka daka daka. Oh. That's cool. Okay. So he has Daka Daka Daka, and so does the little grunts he's attached to. That's really cool. I didn't know that. I forgot I gave him that. That's super cool. All right. So he's quality four plus. All right. With Daka Daka Daka. So basically it means every six turns into extra hits. So the bazooka is yellow. Bazooka missed anyway, so one shot going in. Did it have AP? I think it has AP1, I think. Oh, AP2, okay. One shot going in, AP2. These guys can save it on a six. They get a one. It's another dude gone. Okay. Um, the Soul Snatcher Lord, right there. He's gonna do a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh, not break the building. Ah, uh, he 
You know what? We're going to make him do more than a little wig wiggle. He's going to get down into a fight. That's what he's going to do. He basically just ignores terrain. Like, whole cloth ignores it. So he's going to hop down on the other side of the Tower of Power. You can see his back there. Right there. Uh, he's going to use a Psychic Ability. So let's see what those are. Let's see. He's got one. Target model within 12 takes three hits at AP4. Ooh, let's do that. All right, so, all right, that one's a six plus. I need to roll a six for that to work. Um, all right, so we're just gonna do Psychic Blast, which is AP4. Oh wait, no, he can't do that one. He has to do the other one. I guess he can do Shriek, which would be two units within twelve. No, you can only hit one. All right, fuck it. We'll do the we'll do the big one, the six plus one. So he's gonna have to make a six plus roll. A target within twelve takes three hits of AP four. All right. Come on, six plus. Nuke the killer can. You got a five. That was a good try. Good try. <laughs> all right, that's the Snatcher Lord all done. All right, so that's the Tyrion. It's all done. The only ones left are these guys here, this orc mob here. Uh, I'm going to have them move up around their boss guy a little bit. There we go. Around their boss guy a little so they all can see a little bit better. And stay in coherency and stuff. All right, I have them do that. And they're all just going to shoot this turn into the group of gods. They're just going to shoot into them. Uh, how many do we have? We've got six guys plus the heavy machine gunner. All right, so let's do the six guys first. They just have pistols. Let me check their stats. It's the first time they've ever shot. Yeah, so they've just got pistols. Um... There just attacks one, no AP or anything, so five plus. Alright. And we get a daca 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 there. So we'll go ahead and we'll roll that. Doesn't matter. And then the mach heavy machine gun is three shots at AP one. Uh they all miss. Let's see there. Okay. Two shots. Go on have to shrug off two more wounds. Uh they do not. Because they are, oh, what, are they quality 5 or quality 6? Oh, quality 5. Okay, they shrug off both of them. Fuck it. YOLO. Okay. Uh, and that is turn 2. Um, Everybody is either moving up through the canals they're in. Or they are uh, just like putting shots down center lane. Uh, which is pretty fun. So... Go ahead and let's focus this camera up over here. There's gonna be it's gonna be some shooty shooty bang bang that happens on this side. So we've got our one orc mob group here, and we've got our gods here. So this camera angle fucking sucks though. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I bought a different uh, grabby arm for that camera. <laughs> so it can actually show the things better. Oh, I need to set that up, apparently. Okay. So. Oh, there we go. There, can we take this down, maybe, for a minute? I don't know. All right, we won't worry about it for now. All right, back over here. All right, let's roll off orcs uh, in green, Tyranids in, uh, wow, Tyranids rolled a six, so they, uh, they get to go. <sighs> hmm. All right, so you know what, we're gonna charge with the gaunts and we're going to charge this group of boys here. That's what we're going to do. So, 
fucking tight. Ah, get out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you. We'll put you back in a minute, Mr. Piece of Terrain. Doesn't help that the Gaunts are really actually like they're old models, but they're not bad models. But Jesus, fuck, do they fall over constantly? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All eight Gaunts are gonna attack in. Um, they are getting. Ooh, it's just gonna be eight plus eight. Okay, so. We got 16. Let's, let's do it in groups of 8. I think that matches up with the dice I have. There we go. Alright. We're going to get 3 rounds of this. Alright. 3 rounds of this. I think they're quality 4. Let me double check. Uh, quality 5 plus. Alright. Quality 5 plus. 3 rounds of this. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, three hits there. Okay. And we'll set those aside. Or I'm just gonna use this dice so I can remember how many hits they have. So I can just keep rolling the same dice. Another round. Uh boom boom boom. Three more. Okay. Wow, they're doing pretty good actually. Um, another three. Interesting. Okay. So the orcs are going to defend with nine. Right? And uh, the orcs have what? A five? Yep, they've got a five too. Yep. Alright, so they're going to defend nine attacks. Oof. Oh, is there AP on these? Uh, no AP. Oh, five plus. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, so they survive four. Five guys are lost. Oof. Um, that hurts a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to pull all of you. you yeah, we'll keep we'll keep the big machine gun guy they get separated at least they can he can do a couple of big shooties and we'll pull this guy instead okay so that unit of orcs is down to two guys they get to hit back with close combat weapons and I believe attack one uh, four plus you know, attack one, four plus, they get hit back. No AP. Right, one hit. Uh, do the gaunt save it? They do not. Alright, so they basically lost their whole unit, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, now they have to make a morale test because they lost the combat. So they're going to get pushed back out of combat and they have to make a morale test. Um, and that morale test is going to be four plus. At a two, they fail the morale. But since their unit is less than half strength, they just run away. They're like, boy, boss, I'm out of here. And they just haul ass out of the way. Orcs, not doing particularly well. <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. Well, now I get to do stuff with the orcs. Get to activate them. Um, so, you know, I think I'm going to be a little, little cheeky boy again. I'm going to move this guy up. And he's just going to shoot into those gaunts, I think. Try to reduce them some more. I have a really hard time getting rid of them gaunts. Um, so 
So that is an A6, attack 6, 1 AP. Hit it on 4 plus. And another gauntlet. Let's see. Only missed one. Five hits. Gauntlet are defending on sixes. Don't get a single one. So they lost five guys. So they should be down to three. Boom, boom, boom. That's three. And they lost two. Well, I guess they're down to two. Yep, they're down to two. My math is bad. Okay. Well, uh, at least we cleared some gaunts. Tyrion is good to go now. Um, Imagine we're gonna put some wounds with the Snatcher Lord. We're gonna have him hop down and charge this guy. Alright, so he's gonna charge in. Um, and while he's doing that, and that, he's gonna use his psychic power, the six inch one. It hits multiple things. What does it do? Let's see. Uh, shriek, two enemies within six. Well, that's going to be this guy and that guy. And we need the 5 plus. Gets it on a 5. Alright. So each one of those takes uh, 4 hits at AP 1. So 4 hits for the defense 2 killer can. Uh, he fails 2 of those. Actually, he would fail this one too. So he's going to take three more wounds, bring him down to one wound, and then four hits on the big boss, who's going to, he's more than quality two, right? Yeah, he's more than, oh, he's defense five. Okay, so he's going to fail three of those. What is his toughness? Oh shit, he's toughness three. Oof. Wow. Okay. Uh, yikes. That's a bad time. Okay. I'm sorry, friend. Ah, uh, apparently this natural lord just ran in and blew up everybody's brain with his psychic power. And now he gets to, he gets to, he gets to stab. Now he gets to make the stabs. Attack six, AP one. Uh, and rending. What does rending do? Uh... Result to a six uh, count as AP four. Whoo, boy. Youchy, youchy, youch. Man, I guess the orcs will never get to the Tower of Power because the Snatcher Lord is just shutting them down. Quality three. Six attacks, AP one going into the killer can. Uh, wow, it's bad rolls at least. Killer can defending two. He makes both of them. Killer Can can't hit back because he is pinned. With his little headache. Okay, well this natural lord just uh just fucked everything up apparently. Um Man. Scary. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, I only have one orc unit to activate, and that's, um... Thank you. That's these guys right here. So, they're gonna move their six, and they're just gonna shoot into the Tyranids. Who are right there? There we go. Oh. Basically, I'm just going to fill this whole channel up with them. Um, it could probably be way more like specific about my movement and stuff, but honestly, I'm 
kind of following in my brain like legion movement rules you know <laughs> like you move the leader and then just kind of cram everybody around them a lot to do by yourself so all right so we're going to say that these three can see and the heavy machine gunner can say uh they're going to shoot into these gaunts right here uh they're just going to have themselves a firefight so i think they get two shots with those machine guns and the heavy machine gun I think gets three. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where's the carbines? Carbines, yep, attack two. Heavy machine gun gets three. Heavy machine gun has AP though. Okay, so it's gonna be six shots going into those guys. Um, they unfortunately don't get the Daka Daka roll because their boss is dead. So it's going to be three hits. And then three hits from this big machine gun. Uh, none of which hit. Alright. The Gaunts need to save it on a 5 plus for the machine guns. They don't save any of them. Three Gaunts are fine. Okay. Um, that's all the orcs done. Um, just because they've lost so many guys, because that Snatcher Lord just fucking zoop zoop zappity zooped everybody. Um, the Tyranid Warriors still get to go, and so do the Gene Stealers. So, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the Tyranid Warriors, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just we'll move them up and just... Uh, have them start shooting in that killer can by that door. Yeah, so they're all just going to move up and they're going to shoot into the orc bot in the door. Um, let me check their shots on their regular weapons. Let's see what we got. Alright, so they have three attacks each for the Ravager guns. They have two of those, so it's going to be six attacks. They've got three attacks at AP2 for the heavy Ravager gun. Alright, so we'll do the, the regular six first. Um, they have a quality of four plus, so that is five hits there. All right, Bonk. and then we've got three more attacks for the heavy ravager. We're just gonna have the AP of two on it, uh, so that's gonna be one hit AP two. All right, let's roll the AP two hit first. Uh, the orc guy rolled a one. It's still not enough because that's gonna make that a three. Actually, ones are always Ones are always passes, so he will pass that one. And then uh, two passes, three fails. So that's three points of damage on our orc friend back there. Okay, um, so we've got the two orc bots, and we have one unit of orcs left, and that's about it. Um, there we go. Zoom out so I can see everybody a little bit more, because this, this camera's being a little, a little dumb today. Um, oh man, uh, well, poopy. That's a big poopy for the orcs. It's a big, big thing for the uh, Tyranids. So good job. Um, okay. Well, well, we'll go into turn three and see who gets to go first. We'll roll off. Tyranids get to go first. Man, I was really hoping that killer can would get to do something. <laughs> um... Natural Lord, with, oh, the Natural Lord is within twelve. Fuck. All right, so the Natural Lord, he's gonna do his psychic ability. He's gonna hit this killer can with it. And he's just gonna do psychic blast, which is a four plus. 
He failed it. Okay. And then he's going to charge in to the other, the other machine gun boy. I am here to kill you too, since I killed all your friends. How you doing? There we go. So we have our our great battle of uh, R.I.P. for that poor for that poor grot in that suit of armor. Um, yeah, he's gonna have a bad time. All right, AP six rending. Uh, let's see, what we got or attack six. Uh, with rending, what was the AP standard AP on it? Um, AP one. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, poor. Okay. But it was this one. It was not this one. Okay. So two attacks going in, both at AP four. This guy has to roll. Has to roll like a two or a one to dodge this. All right, so he dodges one, loses the other. He's down to two wounds. And he's gonna push back, and now he has to take a morale test. Hi. All right, morale test. Let's see what we got. On a three, he's going to fail the morale test, and he's going to get knocked out for a turn. Oh my God! R.I.P. These poor orcs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's a thing. Um, well, with that, you know what? We might as well YOLO it and activate our other... Because he woke up this turn. And now he's going to flamethrower these fucking Tyranid Warriors. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. He's going to flamethrower them. They're going to get flamethrowered. My orcs are never going to make it to the Tower of Power, so we're going to disassemble the Tower of Power so the camera stops being dumb. There we go. Da, 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 da. There's, there's the revenge right there. Uh, turn three and the orcs are almost gone. Man, yowchi, yowchi, yowchi. All right, 12 attacks, AP one. Do it in groups of six. Going into those Tyranid Warriors. Uh, quality four plus. Jesus, that's terrible fucking rolling. There we go. Oh. Tyranid Warriors, do they save it? Sure, they save that six. I'm not sure what else they save. Let's look at the list. All right, so they're four plus. So they would need a five plus. So they save one of them, two wounds down. One of them gets roasted, and one of them is down to two wounds. Okay. Well, uh, Tyranid time now. Um, you know what? These two gaunts. You know what? They're, they're doing it. They're going to try to chop him in the butt. Alright, so they're going to... It's going to be six total attacks going into him. No AP. Quality 5+. plus. One hit. It's there. Uh, do they kill him? He's a two... Fuck, he's a 2 plus. They actually do. No, they don't have an EP. No, they don't. Okay, good. Alright, so he survives. Uh, he'll hit them back with his claw. Why not? Uh, a 4 plus. Let me look at that real quick. Uh, bonk. Uh, Goblin Walker, quality 5. So his melee sucks and it continues to suck. Okay. So then nobody really took any wounds, so they'll just bounce out. Alright. Uh work time. Both the walkers have gone. The only ones that are left are the guys that are right there. And their friends here. So you know what? 
they're just gonna pile in. Actually, you know, can they can they do six? They can. Yeah, let's get them into the battle. Fuck it. They're gonna move up here. We're gonna get a ton of shots out of these into these, and then we'll, then we'll do the rest of the shots on the other guys. So we're doing three shots of the heavy machine gunner into into our uh, Tyranid Warriors there. So three shots for that. Uh, one of those is a hit. And then three shots for the heavy machine gunner. Uh, as it just has an AP. Doesn't matter because they all miss. Um, the defense on them. And they're going to make it on a six either way. All right. The rest of these guys. Oh, we know this actually would have been six shots I'm sorry because they get it they get two attacks all right so one of those is gonna hit uh, the guy's gonna sink again I think right the defense five plus oh yeah they're four plus they're fine okay okay he's gonna save that he's gonna be fine okay now down here we have six 12 shots going into these these hermagons little bit off screen come on there we go there we go 12 shots we're gonna do it in two groups of six Shit, this was a, this was a three all right um three hits there so that's good so we got three hits already and then four total hits into those gaunts. Four hits. See if the gaunts can save it on five pluses. They save three of them. Damn. One gaunt gone. Really sad thing is I, I've literally had a unit sitting just like out of combat waiting to ambush because that was thematic and the Tyranids have not needed it because that Snatcher Lord fucking ruined everyone's day. Oh. All right. Um, so let's see. There's Gene Stealers. There, what's left? And then these guys here. These guys here, they're just going to move up. It's the outside of an inch. They're going to move up so that everybody can get shots in at least. Bonk. So they can get all of the shots ever in. That's what they're doing. Okay, so they got six shots with their carbines. I don't think they have AP or anything. Let me check. It's the first time they've... Well, it's the second time they've shot. Okay, so they have uh, 12 shots with their carbines because their attack's two. And there is six of them. All right, so we'll do it in groups of six. No AP or anything. Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah, attack two. Okay. They are quality five plus, so that's four hits. And we're gonna roll another six. Uh, one of those hits, so that is five hits going into the orcs. We are saving it on five plus. Save one. Four orcs are gone. Oof. Man, that shooting's deadly. I like it though, it's fun. Okay. Um, what do we have? We don't have anyone at any of the points. Yeah, it's because it's just my orcs are getting like systematically slaughtered. Ugh. All right, well that's the end of that turn. Unless I want to pull the snatchers in, I think I'll keep them over here. Um, actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll move them in. 
We'll have them rush. They'll go down and around and get in front of these orcs. And then next time they can charge them. And be like, sup nerds. We're here to make you have a bad time. We're the snatchers. That's what we'll do with them. That's what we'll do with them. And we'll get them into the fight. Into the fight. Alright. Um, well, into turn four now. It's basically just turned into a bloodbath, but... That's the point of it. Oh my god, they get to go... Mm, Kiernas get to go again. Um, I'd say this natural lord would do something, but his target is immobilized. There's not much point. So we'll go ahead and we'll activate uh, these guys first. And they'll shoot into this killer can before it can flamethrower everybody. Um, so that's going to be... What? Three shots from the one gun. <laughs> And we'll say the heavy gun is the black one. So we can roll them all together. Wow. Okay. Um, so these are AP2. So this leaves, my guy needs a four up here. All right, saved one of them, one goes through. Which is enough to kill him, but just out of curiosity, let's roll the rest of it. Um, he would have failed one here, so it would have been two points. Our goblin buddy, who got his headache and missed his second turn, is finally off the board. R.I.P. brother, you did your best. You did your best. Well, now it's the orcs time. So, they'll do all their shooting, I guess. Um, so, six shots... From these three guys into the Tyranny Warriors. All of those miss. Four shots from these guys here into the Gaunts. Uh, two hits. Um, so the Gaunts save them on five pluses. They save one of them. One of the Gaunts is gone. We get to get rid of the guy in the other room. Okay. Now three shots from the heavy machine gun. Uh, all of those hit. So that's AP1 or AP2? AP1. AP1 on that. Um, so we got two fours and a one. The one is definitely a fail. Um, so two fours. Let's see what their. I think they're defense four, right? Yeah, defense four, so all three of those fail. So that means this guy is toast from the heavy machine gunner. Go heavy machine gunner. This guy's down to two wounds. Now well, he's holding out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, well, that's it for orc activations. <laughs> um... So let's go ahead and let's do the Snatcher Lord into his buddy right there. Um, he's going to hit him with the Psychic Shriek thing. Or no, I'm sorry, the Psychic Blast. Which is going to be one attack. Let's see if it hits on a four. On a five it goes off, so that's one attack. AP2 Deadly 3. What is deadly? Assign each wound to one model. Multiply it by X. Note that these wounds don't carry over to other models if that target is killed. Interesting. Okay, so it's like mortal wounds. Okay. Um... Okay, so if it hits him, it's just going to, like, do three points of damage. Wow. Okay. So let's see if he can save it. It's AP2, so he's uh, needs a four up. Saves it on a five. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do six attacks into him. Because we're going to charge him. Eh. Six attacks. Uh, six attacks.
Max AP1 and rending. Uh, so we have one there at uh, AP4. And then the rest of these let's see, are all hits. So we'll defend these ones first at AP1. So I need a three up. Uh, fail one of those. So one point's going in. And then we'll do this one. This one needs to be a six to defend it. At a three, it fails. My guy has two wounds left. The other Gobblebot is gone. Man. That Snatcher Lord uh, did some work. Well, the works don't have any more turns. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do... Um, I guess we'll do these guys shooting, might as well. And then we'll move into the Dean Stealers. So that's gonna be uh, five shots. I think that's gonna be 10 shots. Five, ten, five. 10 shots, and you have five pluses. Uh, one, two, no AP on these. See if he works, save them. Five ups. No, nope. two more works. Gone. The last man holding the ground. Or, man's the wrong word. The last orcs holding the ground. RIP, my poor friends. Alright, well, the uh, snatchers are going to move in, I guess. Get to see what they finally can do. Um, yep, we'll do two rows of them like that. Uh, that's going to be whatever attacks they have. So let me go look at the snatchers. Jesus. Soul snatchers. Attacks three. Rending. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. That's his 15 attacks. Okay. That's fine. All right, we'll do it in groups of six. We'll do it in groups of seven. 15 attacks. What was their quality again? Sorry. Uh, three plus, wow. RP, my Port Rock boys. Um, okay, so that's that. All right, let's just roll this just to see if it's enough to kill them, because it probably is. All right, so that would be two surviving, three gone. Okay. The next round, and then we have to do a round and a half after that. Uh, okay. Is that enough to kill the last heavy machine gunner? Yes. Yes, it is. And that is the end of the orcs. They got gobbled up in the space hawk by gene stealers. <laughs> oh. Itchy, 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 itchy. Okay. So, that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. They're uh, they're all gone. It makes me sad. The orcs are not doing as well as I wanted for sure. But <sighs> overall, uh, <laughs> gene stealers in tight spaces. Not sure if I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the Tyranids did very well in tight spaces. Um, more so than the Orcs, which were like all kind of like mediocre shooting, right? Um, uh, they didn't really get to put like weight of fire or have any bonuses or anything. Ugh. Also, the Snatcher Lord getting his like special psychic power off was very unfortunate because um, it nuked. It nuked my orc boss and uh, basically one of the killer cans down to one health. 
So that was just poor, poor luck um, on the York side, but that happens. And the Gene Steelers are very, very nasty. If you just brought a team of all Gene Steelers, you would be probably pretty well off, to be honest. Um, but yeah, definitely fun. Definitely super fun. Um, it It's neat having all the models in the tight spaces. Um, just like trying to move them around and stuff. Um, like that's really cool where like they cram and smash through a door and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, tend to be number the body and one page roll basically gave them the same concept. We knew uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's, that's fairly accurate, yeah. Yeah, the Gene Steelers are like the super elite melee, right? Like, the orc equivalent of them would be like a knob, right? Except the knob would have a little bit of shooting, uh, whereas the Gene Steelers just have none, right? They're just, they're pure melee. Um, they're just like a running blender, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a good time. It was fun doing the models in kind of the cramped spaces. Um, I don't know if the Necromunda train does an amazing job at it. Um, I think if like you were standing around a table, it would work a little better than filming it, right? Like I think, I think filming it's a little tough, right? Like I had to disassemble this, for example, right? Cause it would just, you know, it was getting in the way of the camera, right? Um, see, it's doing it again, right? Like it's, you know, it's, it's pretty normal camera ambient occlusion stuff, but like um, having that kind of like really tall terrain and stuff um, just doesn't work super good for filming. So, um, but yeah, definitely fun. Uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, it was neat having all the guys like pile through, right? Like that would be pretty cool. That was pretty cool. But yeah, it was a good time. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, my brain is just running through it and like about changes and stuff I would make, I could make, um, cause it would be kind of, um, one of the really neat things one page rolls has, they have this like, um, random event table. Um, it would be cool to make one of those themed for like being on a spaceship, like, um, at the end of every round, like maybe like the spaceship tilts a little and all your guys like slam into the wall or something, you know, um, or like, uh, one of the points on the table, like, um, blows open and sucks a bunch of dudes out. Right. Like, um, that kind of stuff I think would be pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Um, and kind of theme it more, uh, for like being on a spaceship, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so next time, uh. I am definitely going to play this again because this was fun. Um, uh, next time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the table up a little bit more like I normally would where it's kind of like features and then space around them. Um, I think I'll do that instead because um, I think it'll just be easier to film. I'm also going to move my other camera here, the one that's normally like fixed position. I'm going to move that to another moving arm. I have a second moving arm now. Um, so I'm going to do that so I can kind of get like a long way shot of the battlefield, um, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, cause like this, this camera here, this one's on a moving arm now. I don't particularly like this moving arm just cause of how it connects to the camera, but it does a good job for me being able to like, you know, move it around and stuff. Um, but this one, this one I need to get on a moving arm. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Definitely pretty fun. Tyranids did really good. Um, it's also my first game playing with my Tyranids. Um, I've actually never played anything with them before. So that's really cool. Um, just getting to like put them on the table, right? Because I am really, really happy with how they look and stuff now. And they're like... Um, they're like shark. Like great white inspired color scheme. I've done multiple, multiple streams talking about like the colors for my Tyranids and where it comes from, my headcanon for them, and you know, I've done that multiple times now. Um, but I'm really happy with that. And it's really cool to put them on the table, right? 
Very, definitely very, very, very fun. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my brain is just thinking about all, about all kinds of different stuff to change, like setting up the table different, doing a random events thing, like it's a lot of cool stuff you could do, I think, to have like really themed kind of like, like cramped, um, almost like Space Hawk style battles, you know? I think you could do it like, maybe you do one where all the power goes out and nobody can shoot over like six inches or something, right? Um, or maybe you do one where like shots come through the ship, like, uh, oh, what is that? Um, the Expanse, when like they shoot the rail gun and it goes from like end to end on the ship, like all the way through, you know, like that would be cool, right? Like you, if you just pick an end, like a point, like on the battlefield, like say right here, and then you pick another point and it'd be like zoom all the way through the battlefield counts as shots, right? Like that would be cool as shit. Um, or, you know, a spot opens up and sucks dudes out or, you know, the power goes out. Maybe the ship floods with like nauseous gas or something for a turn. Um, you could do, a, I think, a bunch of really cool random actions for it. But yeah, definitely fun. Definitely fun. Definitely cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, uh, yeah, definitely cool. I don't know what we're going to play next week. Um, we might play more Gabos and um, what is that game called? Rangers of Shadow Deep. We might play that. Uh, we might play this. We might play some Grimdark Future Firefight. I do want to play with all my Star Wars models too, so maybe we'll play Stargrave. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to call it there. I'm going to go get me some lunch. Hour and a half for basically setting up a game, right? Like talking about what I'm going to do, looking at the lists, playing it. I mean, that's really damn good time. One Page Rules is just fucking baller. It, it is phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Great, great, great system. But I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, keep on keeping.